Skulls made of gold, gold. brains made of chrome, chrome. with iron chromosomes. Chrome. I'm back, back like I never left, in the building, in the building, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, let's go, let's go, you remember that, it's from Naruto, blast from the past, anyway, straight into it, Tay, best in the world, love you, that's my man's, 100 grams, you know why he's on all my videos, because Dante has always got my back, let me show you a little secret, let me tell you my top five. Well, actually, top four because the fifth character is always hidden. Favorite characters in video games of all time: Ryu Hayabusa is number four. Number three, Raiden from Metal Gear Rising. Number two is Bayonetta, and number one, the boy Tay. Love that character. He is the best in the world to me. I love that character. I'm very, very passionate about that character. Any character game that that character's in, I'm there. I'm there. Devil Summoner, Digital Devil, which had Dante in it. All the beautiful Joes that had Dante in it. I played Marvel vs Capcom 3, that's got Dante in it. And of course, Devil May Cry. I've actually been playing Devil May Cry since the inception of Devil May Cry. I was there at the interview. The Katana, da -da 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 press conference. Yeah? Yeah? I can tell you the origin of Devil May Cry, which not many people know, which kind of surprises me that people don't know. The system for Devil May Cry came from when they were trying to discover a system to make Resident Evil 4. The system was birth was Resident, was Devil May Cry system, but it didn't fit for Resident Evil. So they said, scrap that, let's make a new game with that system, and let's try to make a new system, Resident Evil. Devil May Cry came from one of those systems. That's where Devil May Cry comes from. That's why in Code Veronica, the Japanese import version, there was a demo for Devil May Cry. I got that demo. The original demo, Resident Evil, Code Veronica, I think it was 1999 that that demo came out. I got it, I played it, and I loved it, I fell in love with it. I've been playing Capcom games since 1996. Resident Evil 1, I've been playing Capcom games and I've loved it. I kind of believe that if you love a game and you love a developer, you're going to vote with your wallet. You're going to support them, help them to stay in business so that you can get more games from them. When you look at a game like Devil May Cry, you see a game that defines the best in 3D game mechanics and just visual content. It just looks absolutely fantastic. That's what Devil May Cry represents to me as well as Dante being the most godlike video game action character in history. Armageddon could be going down in the world and Dante would still be in his office, chill, eating pizza, playing video games, trying to finish the end boss. The, some boss is trying to end the world, yet Dante is trying to end the boss on a PlayStation game or an Xbox game or a Nintendo game. Let's not discriminate against the consoles here. So Dante is just cool. I love him. Um, Tay. So I will say Devil May Cry. What can we talk about this? Let's talk about Ninja Fury. First of all, we're going to talk about them. We're just going to call them um, Ninja Poops. Bumbling buffoons that don't know anything about Devil May Cry. No respect for Devil May Cry. It's legacy or anything to do with Devil May Cry. Let's talk about why we don't like this. And why I personally object to Ninja Fury having anything to do with Devil May Cry. First of all, Devil May Cry has always represented the best in 3D action genre. Always. In fact, it was the originator of the style. The game always rewarded players players who took their time to deeply learn the mechanics. Each and every new technique you discovered always led to completely unseen depths in a genius system. Like taking it absolutely as far as it can go, the game would reveal a new layer. DMC, Fortune Edition on the other hand, has no hidden depths whatsoever. Actually, no, this isn't true. The game does have some advanced combat mechanics, but it's rendered completely useless by an oversimplified combat system. For example, in Devil May Cry, you could reset the character's animation by jumping off an enemy in mid-air to extend your aerial combo. It's a technique called enemy step, but it depends. the limit was only limited by your creativity and your imagination. This would allow people to cancel, repeat, modify techniques that they used switching your weapons, doing different aerial attacks. It was really amazing. It just felt vast and endless with what you could do with the system of Devil May Cry 3. DMC Forging Edition does in fact have some of these mechanics, but it's rendered absolutely useless by the fact that there is a technique in that game, not a technique. You can do infinite air juggles in the game with no penalty. You can basically mash on one button and get an infinite endless air combo. So why would you waste your time learning enemy step when all you have to do is mash one button and get a 
better results. Rendered useless. Another glaring issue is the ranking system in DMC Fraudulent Edition. The stylish rank is an integral part of Devil May Cry combat system and it acts as an invisible hand that guided you to become a better player. To increase your stylish rank you had to avoid repetitive gameplay and actions. You had to vary your attacks and, ca and carefully think about how you would create your combos and stylish attack sequences. The higher your stylish rank the harder you had to fight to keep it there. The system consistently and constantly pushed you to create more dazzling and stellar attack sequences. Mess up even slightly and you're done. You were done, the rank was gone. In DMC, Forger Edition, by the contrast, the stylish ranking system is nothing but an ego massage. It's something that to stroke your ego. Once you've earned the stylish rank, it stays there. You can simply stand still and it just stays there. You can shoot occasionally, dodge. It will go down to about an A, but then that's as far down as it will go. You do like a couple little mundane actions and it will go back to triple A. Again. So you basically get triple S, highest ranking, stylish rank, basically mashing buttons like a bumbling buffoon. These are just two examples to the extent in which DMC Forger Edition has been dumbed down. The core mechanics of the DMC franchise or series. Ninja Theory have never once created an action game worthy of much attention. Why have Capcom given such an important game, beloved franchise to Ninja Theory? A bunch of bumbling nincompoops that have no respect for Devil May Cry. It's legacy, it's mythology, it's story, it's characters, the weapons. They don't care, they don't care. Why would Capcom do that? Why has my favourite character, my man, Dante, the legendary demon hunter, been turned into Dante, the donkey hunter, the hipster who looks like he's an escapee from an alcohol whole um, alcohol and drug rehabilitation center why has the, the boy the main man Tay been changed into that why Devil May Cry has been destroyed and reduced to rest in peace Dante completely gone they've killed Devil May Cry and Capcom let them do it it's so sad breaks my heart it really does because I love Dante so that's basically my argument to be honest with you it's not even an argument I'm just putting a point across I don't hate Capcom on the contrary, I've bought all Capcom games, Street Fighter AE Arcade Edition, Street Fighter Cross Tekken, Dragon's Dogma, Remember Me, Resident Evil 6, I bought all their DLC for all those type of games, I've been buying Capcom games for years upon years, Chaos Legion, all the Resident Evil series, everything, but if you take something that I like, that is a beloved franchise or video game to me, you fuck with me, I'll fuck you, I will fuck with you, you fuck with me, I'll fuck with you, don't expect my support if you're going to take something that I've become endeared to and try to fuck with it and expect me to say okay well you guys are the guys that make it, I'll support you regardless, no I won't, no I won't, I'm glad DMC is dead, yeah that's right I said it, I'm glad it's dead. Because if that's what you're going to do with Devil May Cry, I'd rather see it dead than see you mutilate it even more. I'm glad it's dead, because at least now I'm not going to see its mutilation. And I'm glad the fans didn't buy it. The real DMC fans didn't go out and buy that trash, that rubbish, that piss. Because then that will be showing Capcom that it's alright to fuck Dante. Because it's not. It's not. The boy is good as he is. He is good as he is. Imagine in a world if they said, oh, um, Ryu isn't good anymore. Ryu looks dated. The character in the gi. And a martial arts bandana. Throwing fireballs at Dawkins. He looked dated. Let's get rid of him. Imagine a world like that. Imagine a world if they said, Liu Kan, look at Liu Kan. That's such a generic, stereotypical impression of a martial, an Asian martial artist. Let's get rid of him. Let's update him. Let's then make him look like a hipster. Let's do that. Imagine, imagine they took a game like um, Mortal Kombat or Virtua Fighter and said look at Akira, he looks dated as well, a karate guy from Japan who wonders about fighting the best fighters in the world, how stereotypical can you get, let's drop that, update him, make him look more realistic, imagine if they took Master Chief and they said Master Chief? That character design looks old. There's so many more cooler mech designs that we could do for uh, a human, robot or cyborg. Let's do that. Imagine. 
if they did that to Master Chief, a character that we're endeared to already, we're endeared to that design. You cannot change something that people have already identified with. You cannot change that, you cannot fuck with that. You can't do it, you cannot do it. Imagine if one day they changed Wesker. They, Wesker, well Wesker's dead, rest his digital soul. But imagine if they had Wesker, he had black hair. And he wasn't Wesker. He wasn't Wesker that we know Wesker as. He was a completely different character. They completely changed the way he looked. It'd be horrible. 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 You know, you can't do that. Look at Metal Gear Rising. Do people say Raiden looks dated? He looks like an, a relic of an old generation. Um, what, how people interpret what cool is supposed to be. What's so cool is supposed to be swearing. Being disrespectful, spitting. Saying fuck, piss, shit. Beep, at every single turn. That's supposed to be cool. What a boring, run down, old, stupid interpretation of cool. That ain't cool, man. That ain't cool. This shows to me Ninja Fear, we don't know anything about Devil May Cry, they don't know anything about that Dante, they don't know nothing, man. They haven't even played the game, man. that's right, they haven't even played. The game was made by one person. One lady made the battle system for Devil May Cry, DMC. The whole bat system, the whole development team were busy working on the platform elements of the, of the game and the story and the cutscenes, which did I say were trash? Oh, I didn't? Well, guess what? It was trash. And I'll never get that game. I'm not even curious. I will never even get that game if it's a pound. The only time I'll ever buy that game is for a pound is if I'm putting it in a bonfire to make the flames go up even higher. That's the only time I'll spend money. And even then, I wouldn't do that. Trash is as trash is. And trash belongs in the trash. Sayonara. I'm glad they may cry is dead. I'm glad. Because I'd rather see it dead than for them to try to desecrate the legacy of my man, Tay. That's right. So that's my talk on Death May Cry and Dante and how I feel about the whole situation with Death May Cry. I mean, Capcom, if you wanted to bring back Death May Cry, the dude that made Dragon's Dogma, put him on it. The guy that had the red, um, the red top from the Dragon's Dogma videos, put him on it. The guy that. What on Death May Cry, the D Dante in Ultimate Marvel's Capcom 3, put him on it. Put those people on Death May Cry, or give the game to Platinum Games. Swallow your pride, revive Death May Cry, and give it to Platinum Games. If you want Dante back, do that. That will make the people happy. Listen to the people. Listen to the people. Power to the people. Power to the people. You ain't got no power. You ain't got no power, Capcom. Without the people, you ain't got no power. You ain't got no power. You have to listen to us. You have to listen to us. We put you where you are. If we turn our backs and you and say, fuck your games, we're going to say, fuck your game. we ain't going to buy your games. You're going to spend millions of pounds on a video game. Ain't no one going to buy it. Ain't no one going to buy that shit. That's just going to rot. That's just going to rot and go back to the digital, the digital space. And you're going to go out of business. So you need to satisfy us, you need to satisfy us and let us be endeared towards you so we can help you work together to make better games and we support you. If you don't do it, look at with Ono, with Street Fighter. That man is so gracious, that dude is so gracious and he's so appreciative and always says, and um, he's always at tournament events, he's always there for the community. That's why people support Street Fighter. Because Ono is legit, they even employed um, Combo Fiend. They even employed Combo because they know Combo Fiend was part of the community and he is still part of the community for Capcom game for um, people that play Capcom games and just fighting games in general and they know that if you put somebody that the community respects in terms of they know Capcom and um, Combo Fiend is legit he's legit because he's a tournament player he's got character and he's got personality so they know the people are going to respect the voice of um, Peter Ross's Combo Fiend and Ono knows this this makes us want to support the game more because one of the, our community of the FGC is working for Capcom. So we've got a good representative there. So it makes us want to support the game even more. That they want to support us and give us what we want. So that's why. So it's not about Capcom. It's about Ono. That's why people support Street Fighter. 
You know, she far cross checking is a different matter. That's bad business practice. That wasn't oh no, that was Capcom bad business practice. So that was a backlash. And that just shows if you fuck with the gamers, the gamers will fuck with you. And that's what happened to um, Street Fighter versus um, Tekken. Even though I did like that game a lot, yeah. It's bad business practice. Don't try to nickel and dime, man. Don't try to nickel and dime. Give us a product that is good and is worth it and we'll support it. No problem. We will support it if it is worth it and you're not trying to nickel and dime and undermine us. Well, that's all I've really got to say about that. Sorry for ranting on so long, 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 long. But yeah, that's all I really have to say and... Um, yeah, Death May Cry. We talk about Capcom and stuff like that. Um, sorry if I got a little bit heated, but you know, I'm very passionate about this stuff. So, yeah, expect my next video. My next video, I'm going to be talking about um, Infinity Blade and the blow up with the Asura's Rising um, DLC, which crashed um, and destroyed everyone's safe data. I was one of those victims. So, I'm going to be talking about that. I ain't going to talk about the YouTube ID because everyone's talking about that. So, until my next video. Stay safe. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. By the probably time time you watch this, those days these days will be gone. But still, just got to put that out there. So, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching all the way through, and I set some good stuff on my next videos.